this drone hub should be controlling pretty much everything now. Okay, good. So we should have a supply of fuel coming in. Which is being picked up by the drones. Yeah. And then shifted over to this. Or straight to the rocket. Um, you know what? I'm going to move the fuel spot. Rovers don't need to charge anymore, they have unlimited power, quality of life change. Nice. What does the anomaly system symbol look like? It's like this, but a yellow jar instead of a blue one. We had one earlier, but I haven't seen one for a while. <coughs> right, so how's my power throughput? Not sure anywhere. No. Production 30, demand 20. So there is a slight shortage of that. Ah! Build more of these. I think I'm going to start putting some on this side. Sector scanned. Ooh, that, Research that, that, complete. That. Anomaly found. Alright, so we found a research uh, anomaly. There's another anomaly. So sometimes they're this. Look like that too. So we we'll send the explorer down there. We finish some research. That's going to be. Low G hydrosynthesis. We can now get high rises, which is we can pack more people into our colonies, which actually sounds really strong. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. So I think the next thing we need to do is set up a water extractor and begin working on oxygen. And grab those resources and we'll just bank them up for now. Okay, so let's take a look at the domes. We have the basic dome, the micro dome, and the barrel dome. We don't have a medium dome. Then we have passages which support uh, connect domes. Now we know where a metal deposit is, that's good. And there's also research up here. So I feel like these two locations are going to be worker positions. Which kind of means I've like, put the main analyzed. Down there. You'd think the explorer had found buried treasure the way our scientists were reacting. It was a sulfur rich regolith. The Explorer vehicle gathered various soil samples from far and wide around the anomaly site and fed us the data. For hours the telemetry was filled with the buzzing chatter as the scientists at Mission Control discussed the implications of the element and made inventive plans about the future. The time of the expedition was limited and we urged them to make a final decision. So we can concentrate on getting as many samples as possible for a thousand research. Which is basically ten souls worth of research. So Wait, is a soul a day or a year? It might be a day, in which case that's 10 days worth of research. Or we can focus on the geochemical analysis of the most sulfide-rich samples, reduce the cost of engineering text by 10%. This one feels like it's going to have much better long-term implications. 
Yeah, I think a soul is a day, not a year. Hey, Donna. What's the rarest thing in the game? Uh, rare metals? Probably. Okay, so the fuel refinery is doing its thing. You're going to be quite a long time before I can use you. I think I'm going to pause the game real quick and I'm going to start thinking about where I want to put these domes. So the basic dome is going to be the main residential spot. So yeah, if I want the most out of the tech locations, it would need to be built around there. Because I don't know exactly how those tech positions are used. Would require 100% more power. And all research in this spot will be boosted. Oh, you're fine, Katie. It's mostly spoilers I don't want. You haven't provided me any of those, so it's all good. And we'll be clearing these metal deposits soon enough. In fact, I think we'll just continue with that. Oh, I still don't have the uh, water set up. Let's make sure we get a proper supply of water done. Right, that's what I was waiting for this. So we need to wait until we've collected all of this, deposited those items out of the way somewhere relatively safe. Uh, in fact, these are looking full of metal, so I should probably set up another universal deposit. Sector scanned. Oh, and they automatically collect the metal. Ah, okay. Right, and we also need some waste dumping sites, which I usually put in areas where it looks like we're going to have a lot of wasted space, like over here. Unload. I want you to unload. Where's unload? This is very rare. I'm not used to having quite this much metal, like, stored up. We have 130 metal, that's crazy. We're still oops, scanning. We are. Let's just queue those areas up. Keep it busy. Right. And then once you've cleared this, I can finally build my water production facility. We'll get that rigged up. Once we've got the water done, we can set up oxygen. Once the oxygen's done, we have power. We have oxygen. We have water. We can then start on the domes. Sector scanned. Research complete. But the dome where the rocket is now and you'll be able to get research nodes without the cold negative. That is what I was thinking. We'll be able to get this one. I don't know if they stack. Because it's possible to put a dome here and then get both of these. I think I'm going to need to put some more universal deposits down. There's too much metal around here. This is crazy. Actually, you know what I can do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. 
is remove that. We're just going to set up some metal deposits. Because these can hold more metals. Yeah, these can store 180. That will do. So I'm actually going to start saying these ones, start clearing them out. I don't need this many. This is actually going to mess up our efficiency a bit. I'm being a bit pedantic, admittedly. There we go. So these are a little bit close to the fuel deposit. So I probably shouldn't leave these here forever. But actually the fuel deposit will also be moving once the spaceship has a better landing location, which we'll need to decide on. It's also going to be very dusty up here with so much cement. Who are those? Improves the comfort of all residences within radius of a dome. Interesting. There's another one down here. So those should really be where the residential stuff is. So in that case, let me pause real quick. So we put you here where we have the vista. Problem is passages. You can't just place passages. I can never remember how long they can be. There is a blueprint mode, isn't there? Though that's technically what I'm using right now, I think. So it's either going to be there, or here. I think that it has to be here. I don't think that there's any chance of us being close enough to a dome here. That That's a long way. Now, if you have more than one site, does it boost double? Because if we placed it here, we could probably reach. Maybe close. <clears throat> so we could do that. And this would be basically a radius out from here for all the various resources that we need. Because the way it works is people will go one jump. So if you have a central housing dome, they'll go out here to work, they'll go out here to play, they'll go out here to get food, but they will not go living here to here to here. So you kind of need a spider rather than a cereal system. But it's really annoying that you can't see how far the freaking passage goes. And passages are limited in space, in, in distance. Oh, mighty Google, please tell me how long a freaking passage can go. Um, surviving, spell surviving Mars correctly, passage length. And are there any better ways of transporting people than passages? I 
Um... Twenty tiles, including the endpoints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, not even close. Not even close. So as nice as the vista would be to get proper access to the research areas. Now, bearing in mind that we could have several different spiders. So if we want to have the factories, for example, we could base the factories around one of the vistas. Because we could have the residents here and then the factories fanned out from there. In fact, the little guide I was just looking at said... You don't actually want people commuting to work. You want all the work to be centralized. And then the uh, amenities are elsewhere. So like the... Uh, what are they called? Restaurants and cinemas and stuff like that. But that 20 tile maximum is really limiting. Can't I just get buses? You know? Trains? <clears throat> well. Okay, so... Research site. That's the other thing I want to know. Do they stack? Surviving Mars. Research... Site. Stack. Do research bonuses stack? Three research bonuses, 10, 15, duh. I think they do stack, but that's no confirmation. Really? Only one person asked that? I'm amazed that more people haven't asked that, but the one answer I could find was probably. 15%, 15%. So we can get a 30% research boost there. So I think I do want to set up a barrel dome, like here. And then that could be built up to 20 tiles away. So if we wanted to have a metal generating place, that could potentially be here. It's outside of your base, so yeah, it would have to be a second place like this. They could walk between them. In fact, if there's this much of a distance, would they walk? Probably not. So we could set something like this up. I get it, it says, fortunately the hexes makes this rather more difficult. Could be something like that. Japanese one does not need people. You are correct. So yeah, we can absolutely have the research location here. And that could be pretty much self-contained. And then the population one with the factories could be here. Because there's just a little bit more flat land around. Plus we have the height there for power generation. So let's just set you up as a do not build. But that is where I'm going to build that. And there's also water right next door. Okay, I like this. This is good. Right, what was I waiting for? I was waiting for the metals to be cleared. The metals have been cleared. Good. So let's go and set up a water generation. Like 
Yeah. And then also power unlimited power. And I feel like I'm gonna need another water tower. Okay, good. Still halfway done. I think I might need another. Well, actually, I can't build any more. Sector scanned. Research complete. Anomaly oh, found. Over there. Oh, and some raw metals. Finally. Okay, so we want the explorer over here. So that's seriously the first rare metals I found. It is. Because rare metals are your main source of income later in, in the game. I feel like I do want to have a second dome being set up at the same time. So I think I'm going to build a second barrel dome. Which I'm going to stick here. And the reason for that is I want the food production to be here. Then this can just be research, housing, and <laughs> basically just that. So this could be food production and a bit of housing and a couple of amenities. And more amenities over here. We'll, we'll have to switch the amenities and stuff like that around later on. Okay, power supply. How is that doing? Demand 25, power production 50. Cool. I think I would like a little bit more supply. I mean, accumulator. Let's do that. Anomaly analyzed. There's more available? to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Even the tiniest simply looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which perplex the human mind for generations. Sometimes it takes just a single discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe. An encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence and into the future. So we've discovered low G turbines and systematic training. Okay, so we can now get subsurface heating. Increases local temperature in cold areas and protects nearby buildings from cold waves. Consumes water. So this would actually heat the research area so it wouldn't use as much power. We can also get low G turbines, which means that the power turbines are more effective. And plus 10 performance when working their speciality. Our specialists are ridiculous, so we want that. RC explorers can also generate research. That's basically just free tech. And I think I want this one. And yes, we are actually using moisture evaporators, so we may as well upgrade you too. Cool. <coughs> Excellent. All right, so we are starting to generate water. Ah, you generate waste rock. You can range of this, yeah, you must be. So both of these are going to be really dusty. Uh, you are just outside of that reach. So anything in the grey area produces more dust, or receives more dust. So hopefully this counts as just outside of its range. And the reason I built this like right in the corner is because you can actually squeeze more of the water extractors in one zone. 
Although there is a limited amount of water that it can use. Or that it can generate. There is a limited deposit, is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so these guys are going to need polymers. I'm going to need a lot of polymers. <clears throat> so I am thinking that we probably want a delivery of polymers. So we can prepare for building those. We're going to need, what, 40? Plus all the buildings Sector inside. Scanned. That's going to be a lot of polymers. So let's set up a supply pod. And we're just going to fill this guy with 25 polymers and just launch it. Boom. And hell, I think I'm just going to launch another one. Give me all the polymers. Boom. So we've only got five left. So that's going to be 55. We'll have 15 left after those are built. We can always order more. Although I'd like to get a polymer factory up and running as quickly as possible. Which will require... Actually, the polymer factory is one which is outside, so we could probably place that near here. Now, one downside of building this so close to the metal deposit is the metal extractor will probably... Produce dust. Oh, there it is. Fully automated facility that extracts metals from underground deposits, but need without the need for colonist workers or extractors contaminate nearby buildings with dust. It has a lower production than the metals extractor. That's fine. And yeah, we can put it far enough away where it's not going to impact this. We can put one there and like one there, I think. If we did them like this though, then there would be overlaps. That does give me access to metal, which is good. How's the power looking? Pretty much full. Another cool thing is this thing grinds up the concrete. It's uh, manufacturing. You can actually see it's making a, an actual hole. Alright, so we've got these guys. I'm just going to go and drop them. Now this does produce a lot of dust when they're landing like this, which is why these guys are getting all covered up and horrible. So you don't want to do this too often, really. Yeah, see, they've just been completely dusted in. So we're going to require other drones to get them cleaned. Um, so I did see one building which I had not seen before. Recharge station. Recharges drone batteries. I have not seen that be a problem. Oh, I see. Because there are a couple of these already attached to the drone hub, so you can add more recharges. Well, that hasn't been a problem so far, so not necessary. Right, Charles is ready to take off. The f It is completely refueled. We could just send him home. Is there any reason not to do that right now? Because once it's home, we could use you to bring back raw materials. I think I'm going to turn you on. 